Oh man, I've never been so excited to go out and drive my vehicles. I mean, like, I love driving the trucks, but this is just like a totally different experience for me. Oh my gosh, this is just too cool. never gets old. Got something we're gonna do here real quick and it's not it's not like we need to but I just feel like we should. This truck doesn't have an exhaust tip on it and I just really feel like it needs one. So we got an exhaust tip here it's just a basic chrome tip it's a five inch or six inch tip nothing crazy something a little bit more modest it's not absurd. I think it's a 15 inch so we're gonna put this on here and it's gonna match the the chrome bumper is very nicely. We could have done a black tip, but I just felt like the chrome fit the truck better. So we're gonna get that put on here real quick and see how it looks. Well, we got the new exhaust tip put on that truck and it actually uh, it actually looks really good. So I know some people aren't a fan of the chrome. I get it. I'm not like a huge chrome guy myself, but I do know that there are people out there that like chrome and they like the chrome look on the trucks. And for example, my buddy Joshua, he's like, dude, I'm just not a color match guy, dude. Like if I won that truck, I would want chrome on it. I'm like, really? I'm like, cause I feel like I'd rather have a color match. She's like, I just wouldn't, it's just me. But you know, it's just, everybody has their taste. So I thought I'd do a truck where we left all the chrome on it and you guys could uh, have it that way. I mean, you do have five grand. If you really want to color match it, you can do that. But here's the tip on it. I'm pretty sure it's just a five or six inch. It's nothing crazy. I just have it sticking out as far as the factory one did. Just right, just inside the fender. See what I'm saying? Like if you get over far enough, you can see it poking out just a little bit, but it's not like sticking out halfway through the tire and like all crazy and stuff. So I'm gonna start this up and listen to it. And now what's the purpose of a tip if you're wondering? Well, there's not really any kind of performance gain, but it's just aesthetics and looks good. It sounds a little bit better. You can win this truck. Now we are going to be doing some things to this car, but I'm not going to list everything to you quite yet because I got to leave the suspense. I got to let you guys keep guessing. But let's just say there's going to be some things happening to this car that are going to aesthetically make it look absolutely crazy, like just outrageously cool. So stay tuned, keep watching, and keep your eyes out for the videos coming on this car real soon. So in terms of this truck, Pretty much it's ready to go. So remember, every $5 you spend gets you five entries towards winning this truck plus $5,000 cash, but that giveaway ends on June 4th. So don't waste any time because this giveaway will be gone quick. Now in terms of the first gen, the first gen winner will be announced very soon. So if you're seeing this video and you're like, oh man, it wasn't me, bummer. We haven't called anybody yet, so it could be any one of you who entered to win this truck. So stay tuned, winner will be announced any moment now. It's been about seven-ish days when I'm filming this video. It's been about seven days since the giveaway ended, so we should hear back any day now, but it can take seven to 14 days. Just kind of depends. But pretty much any time after seven days, we could expect a phone call at any moment. So stay tuned, guys. More coming on this truck as well. I gotta know, do you enjoy seeing more of these vlog styles where you see little bits and pieces of everything, just random little stuff of all the different vehicles? Or do you prefer videos when it's like one video of one piece of content and one direct objective and then that's it let me know down in the comments below and one more thing to note if you have not done so yet this is my wife's giveaway truck she's working on right now she's just swapping out the headlights other than that the truck is done and it's ready to go to one of you guys and this video is going up on the i believe monday which is going to be may 18th so when you see this video this is your last 24 hour reminder before her giveaway is going to be ending and it's got to be going off to one of you so if you haven't done so yet i'll leave a link down in the description below this is her 
giveaway, her ordeal, but it's the link dieselbabegear.com. Not lnpgear.com or my merch website at all. It's her complete separate website. It'll be labeled like my wife's merch store or my wife's truck giveaway website or whatever, but it'll be dieselbabegear.com. And every $5 you spend will be 10X entries towards winning this truck. And that giveaway ends on May 19th. So get entered while you can. Link is in the description below. Don't miss out on that. For the Loud and Proud merch website, lmpgear.com, we're releasing a whole bunch of stuff. We've had all new clothing released. We're releasing new hats. We're releasing new gear, new accessories, all kinds of new products. So make sure you always stay tuned on the website because I know that the store kind of sat undeveloped for like a couple months of just like the same stuff. But we have been adding all kinds of stuff recently and there's gonna be a huge shift taking place on that website along with the new company coming and we will give you more information on that very soon. Bam, here is the black forest green six speed. We still gotta buff off this little adhesive line there, but look at this thing. Devin just dropped it off. I didn't get a chance to grab any footage with Devin when he was here, but here's the truck and all of its, and all of its glory all being finished up here pretty much other than some some other little things we got to do still but for the most part in terms of the aesthetics aside from like wheels and tires this is pretty much how it is now let me go over what we did so we did of course put in the sport tail lights and all that color matching and all that jazz what we actually just did though is i put the exhaust tip on just now um and i know the truck's not deleted it's not tuned or anything so it kind of seems a little bit silly but aesthetically it looks a little bit better going down the road but it's just a small six inch exhaust tip bolted on to that uh four inch factory piping that we trimmed off. He did 5% tint on the cab because, you know, legal everywhere. But uh, here's the 5% tint, 15% brow. It looks freaking good. Let me get you a little bit better view. Check that out, guys. The six speed looking good. And then what he did is he threw in a two and a half inch front leveling kit with a bracket down low to extend the mounting location for the factory shock. That way your shock's not like overstretched and like rides rough in the front. It looks really good. He did a good job. There's a little tractor rolling by. <laughs> but yeah, so here it is. Looks good. Again, 15% brow, 5% on the side doors and the back glass two and a half inch front leveling kit installed. It looks good, it looks good. Now, the reason I'm going with this setup on this truck is I don't wanna give away the wheel and tire setup, but I kinda do. We're running American Forces and we're running a 33 by 1450 wide tire. I'll just leave it at that. You guys can take your guesses as to the setup, the width and all that stuff. But let's just say it's gonna look beefy and aggressive and it's gonna have plenty of sidewall and it's gonna look good. But let, let's just say that. That's, how, that's what I'm gonna leave it at for the wheel and tire info on there for you guys. But look at it, it just looks freaking good. I was kind of torn on going with like the OEM aftermarket look at first, but then after I got it done on the truck, I really, really fell in love with it. And it's actually probably one of my favorite fourth gens that we've had that we've done and we've done a Longhorn, we've done her tradesman, we've done another tradesman with the front end stuff I'm talking about. We've done a few of them, but like this one is probably my absolute favorite because we took something that was pretty boring, but we just made it look very aesthetically pleasing, but not going extreme and making it look out of place or out of proportion. You know what I'm saying? Like just like not good on the truck. I feel like this is a very clean, simple look that makes it look like aftermarket OEM, if that makes any sense at all. And it just fits the truck really, really well. And of course we've got the smoked out cab lights. I didn't even really show you guys those when we got them done, like with the amber lighting, but let me see if I can get those on here for you guys. They actually look really sick. So the reason I said that I wanted to leave the amber lighting is you've got that amber lighting that stays there on these OEM sport headlights, but then you've got the amber lighting in the cab lights and it's just kind of like a nice, subtle amber glow, if that makes sense. I mean, it just looks, to me, it looks good. I mean, everybody has their taste and everybody has their own cup of tea, like, but if you ask me, I think it looks just about perfect. Inside the cab here, you can see kind of like how the tint looks from the inside. Again, they did a freaking uh, really, really good job. Looks really freaking good. We've got the 5%, the 15, then the five on the side, five on the back. Um, it looks really good. It doesn't look that dark in here because it's a regular cab. So you've got, you know, windows a lot closer to you. There's not a big cab 
to just you know cover up a lot of the lighting and make it look darker but it looks good i mean it looks really really good let me show you the lineup out here the six speed we've got currently the hellcat daily temporarily because i'm giving it away of course and we've got your truck sitting right in between the two by the way only like i think 20 days left to enter to win that thing maybe less every five dollars five entries to win wifey's truck we just finished putting the new headlights in it got the led strips down low on each side of course and then just a one-piece housing uh turned out really really good looks really good on the truck I think she's happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Join the team, join the family, enjoy the content, hit the notification bell. We will catch you guys in the next video, but do not forget, if you want to enter to win this truck, you got 24 hours left. It's dieselbabegear.com. It's my wife's merch website, my wife's truck giveaway website. If you want to enter to win the white truck, that's lnpgear.com. Or if you want to enter both, can enter to win both legally and legitimately, you could win both trucks. Information is all in the description below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.